Yo, yo, what's going down, dude Brown? Welcome back to the program, all y'all riders of Rohan. Quality content and no spam. Actually, you know what? I like spam. I mean, not not the mail spam, but you know, like the the food spam. Yo, spam's my jam, dude. Not gonna lie, dude. Coming up hella poor. Spam got spam got us through a lot of tough times. That's real talk, dude. And um, y'all have a spam masubi before? Spam masubi, dude. If you have never had a spam masubi, yo, you are missing out. You're missing out. You need to get in the know if you don't know. If you're not in the know, bless you. You hear somebody sneeze outside? <laughs> I live on a busy street for those of y'all who are joining me for the first time. Um, and by the way, my name is Agent Orange. And your name is? Well, nice to meet you, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. And today we are taking a look at Master Lord and Tyrant Extraordinaire Megatron wearing um, the fossilized armor. Um, no vertebrae, but that's okay, because she's taking a vertebrae. <laughs> Don't unsub. <laughs> um, but sub, yeah, definitely. <laughs> click that like, click that sub, notifications, all of that. I'd really appreciate it. I try, to, I try not to keep it too commercially. Um, but yo, those things help the channel out, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, I'm gonna try to be as personal as I can, um, without being too commercially. But anyway, yo, let's get with the program. So, he is wearing 100%. Yeah, I should move my hands out of the way and not obscure the light and not obscure the build. But he is wearing 100% of the um, the fossilizer the fossilizer armors. And I'm going to show you how to break him down today. I think the easiest bits that we can probably tackle are like, we could just start taking off. Oh, I forgot about this video. Check this out. It's uh, Galvatron's, Galvatron's uh, chain. Plus, um, optimal optimacy, optimal optimal, um, his crown, and dude, it just like fits in, dude. And so now I just keep it like this and just like place it on fools. Um, but let's take that off for a second and uh, let's focus back on home skillet over there. Home skillet. Um, so let's pop off his 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 guns in the back. Easy peas, right? Easy peas. So we take those off, and then you just see that it's uh, Megatron. And then we'll take off his little shoes. I think it's going to be a pretty short video because it's incredibly easy how this guy's made. Um, so we take off. Excuse me, Lord. I apologize, Lord, for the mishandling. Let me move him off to the side. Okay. So these are what each of the feet, the little shoes look like. Yeah, these are Megatron's shoes. Um, and then this is this is the front, that's the back, and that's where it plugs into the foot. You take a look at it, and this is one paleo claw, one wing claw, one rack big leg, one rack small leg, and cinched together is the, um, the wing forearm. And the wing forearm plugs into that back plug on the big rack leg. And then the fist plugs into the um, the pork from the the, um, the wing leg, the wing calf. This kind of hangs freely. Um, doesn't really connect, but it's okay. I mean, it's sitting horizontal, so. And then you just make two of those. Um, it is utilizing 100% of the parts. And so, um, yeah, just make two of those. Okay. Move to the side. Move, 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 move to the side, dude. Um, Sorry, I know some of y'all like don't like that scraping noise. When I'm just like, yow, 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 yow. I'll try not to do that too much. Um, the next bit that we can take off is the rack, body, and head and spear. And uh, you know what? Before we, yeah, and like, dude. So first of all, um, yeah, it's not gonna fall off. It's right, but you know what? It's not even plugged into anything. It's actually it just perfectly wedges in there. See that little nub? And it kind of like raises up. And so you just... Dude. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And that's it. And yeah, if you vigorously shake it, it'll fall out. But yeah. So that's just plugged in like that. And that's just basically the rack. 
um, body, dino head, and then the tail, and then you just have that hugging his bicep, and then you just kill, just push it in, yeah, see that, hear that, so that's easy, all right, and then if we take a look at his, um, his forearm, he's wearing this, like, crossbow bow, more, more like a bow, because it's pretty damn huge, oops, excuse me a lot, and, uh, this is basically just, um, his wing finger. I need better light. Yeah. It's a uh, wing finger is top torso and bottom torso. And the bottom torso has been flipped over. And so this is normally connected to the top part. Then we have the paleo buckler. Um, and then we have the wing finger calf and spear. Or sorry, thigh and spear, thigh and spear. And then the little rack hip connector. Yeah. And that's just. Um... Yeah. Easy, right? And then you plug that into Megatron's um, forearm. You have them plugged into the forearm. Give each other. Man, I gotta mess with the lighting. Yeah. But, um, not doing a very good job, but whatever, dude. Doing my best for the time being. Um, it's what I got. So we plug that into Megatron's forearm, and then we have it angled like so. And then the, the bow and arrow thing doesn't connect to the rack body in any way. Okay. So now, all of this contraption that you see is connected by one peg in Megatron's forearm. Damn, it's a tight fit. <sighs> um, okay. And now this is basically the entire Paleo tracks, And it kind of got the Siegfried nightmare um, kind of arm thing going on. And at the top, the only Ractonite piece is that Ractonite um, hip covering thing and you're going to use that later to create this like shoulder buckler shield thing on the bob all right and so uh, for the most part it's symmetric uh, save for this um and the way you create it is you just, i was about to say you need all of the parts in the paleo tracks uh duh except for the claws that were used earlier um to make part of the feetsies the feetsy parts and so you got the dino head over here and that's plugged into the blade hand hip mechanism and then you have the, um, the thigh bit hugging that piece at the top over here, squeezing it together. Um, and then you have that peg protruding over because you're going to plug in that rack hip thing that I talked about earlier. And then adorning the sides of that blade bit are um, Paleotrex's um, uh, calves with, with the head plugged into one of the heels of the calf. And then the, the tail plugged into the back of the dino head area. Um, and then that little plug right there is the one that kyop, squeezes into Megatron. And this was uh, up here, yeah. And then everything, you, you can kind of see like how it lines up. And then it'll fit in nice and fine. And you want Megatron's hands tucked in too to give a uh, better clearance. Um, let me try to put Homeboy back. Uh, you know what, I'm going to curse under my breath, but I'm going to probably do it. Let's do it. So we're going to get this guy back here. See, I knew it. I knew it. They're going to start falling apart. But I think that's all right. All right, cool. One part down. Ah, he looked so much better earlier when I had them all done up. Um, the next bit that we should probably use is... Yeah, hey, it's coming together. Then we have... Uh... Yeah, the rack body that you just kind of choke, squeeze in there, and one of the feet that feats uno dos dos pies. Um, yeah, so you get both of the feet in there. And then where's his uh, plug in the gun bits at the back? And now you got that double turret action. Oh, sorry, it's all in front of the camera, obscuring everything. But yeah, I think that's it.
a better angle. I gotta get his legs right, you know, so that he he sits properly. I think that's okay. And then we just add Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Um, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um and that's Megatron. Yeah, that's Megatron with um fossilizer armor and he's drip 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 dripping with bone stuff. Yeah. Um did I tell y'all um that I've been experimenting with a what is it? A theme song for the channel. I'm not I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it or not. And I'll probably mention it in another video too, because at the end ain't nobody watching this anyway. Um, but it goes, um, it's Agent Orange, I shape shift transforming, I'm grateful to y'all who watch all my recordings. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'll probably mention it on another, um, another, another video, because like I say, nobody, nobody watching at the end. Um, but yeah, if y'all watch it sometimes and y'all hear that noise, sorry about that. Apologize, apologize. Uh, when you hear my voice and it's super froggy, it's either, uh, it's usually, um, it's in the morning, um, recording a morning video. When you hear me a little bit like chipper and like, um, yeah, that's, that's during the afternoon, um, like during a lunch break. Um, then I don't know. And then when I'm super tired, that's obviously, um, after work. And so, yeah. Yeah, it's not like I have multiple personalities, or I do. That's something, you know, if y'all are minority and you speak different languages, y'all know that you can pull off kind of like these different personalities for different scenarios, just like I use languages. I always thought that's a trip, dude. Um, anyway, yeah, I hope, hope y'all are doing good. Hope y'all are doing uh, good and chilling, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, maxing, relaxing. Um... Uh, I don't know. Andrew Jackson? I don't know. All right, take it easy, guys. Bye.